We know that smiling is a sunnah. So what is wrong with a woman smiling at a man? Doesn't my niya count? Now, not everything in Sharia has <clears throat> a specific evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah. And this is why Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Fasalu Ahl Dhikri in Kuntum La Ta'lamun. You may ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. So so many things that are not mentioned in the Quran or Sunnah, yet scholars with their knowledge and with what Allah has granted them with can obtain the ruling from various evidences from the Quran and from the Sunnah as well. Logically speaking, when a woman smiles at a man, what is this? No one doubts, even the disbelievers themselves, they will say, that's an invitation. So it is an invitation when she smiles at a man, regardless of her age, <clears throat> regardless of uh, uh, her, her uh, beauty, regardless of her social status, whether married or single. If you look at the vast majority of evidences in the Quran and the Sunnah, <coughs> you will find that this religion is based on segregation between men and women to the extent that clear evidences in the Quran that prohibits women from revealing their beauty. It obliges them to wear the hijab as in verse 59. <clears throat> Chapter 33, Al-Ahzab. So this is a clear indication. Also in the Sunnah, the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, the worst raw, the worst line in the masjid of men is the last, and the worst line or raw of women in the masjid is the first. So these are the worst. The further they are from one another is best. And in the Sunnah, the Prophet tells us, alayhi salatu wasalam, a woman who leaves her home wearing her perfume and none mahram men find the scent of her perfume, she is like an adulteress. It is not permissible for a man to touch a none mahram woman and to be stabbed in the head with a needle of iron is better than to touch a woman that is not halal for him. In the Quran, Allah tells us that women must not walk and make a sound with their anklets so that that would not attract men's hearing. An anklet. So if all of these combined, and among other evidences, <clears throat> they all indicate that Islam promotes and endorses the segregation between men and women for the benefit of men and women. So after all of this, no one in his right mind would say, what's wrong in me smiling in a man's face? This is a clear invitation and this defies the purpose of hijab and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.